yeah, yeah, yeah. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. Go vibes, make it say yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What it do, Jab Turkeys, and welcome back to The Controversy. I'm your host, Dean Elliott Carter, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on the first episode of the Wonder Years reboot. Yes, the new Wonder Years show with the all-black cast, uh, directed by Fred Savage himself, Mr. Kevin Arnold. But before we start, please smash that subscribe button and that like button like I wanted to smash Winnie Cooper back in the day. All right, let's go into it. So, I recently, uh, last year, did my thoughts on what my predictions would be of this show. I, I was very confused because Wonder Years is a classic to me. It's one of my favorite childhood shows. And I just, first, I didn't even want a reboot of it. No one asked for it. I was just like, ah, let's just keep classics, classics. Kind of like, you know, Back to the Future. It's just something that I feel like should not be touched. Uh, but they decided to take a take a, uh, a swing at it. Mr. Lee Daniels, a very good producer, is a producer on this show. And Fred Savage, who has been doing a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes stuff, Stuff lately is is doing a directing on this this particular episode and i'm gonna give my thoughts on it um first when i saw the episode first five minutes i wanted to turn it off i was kind of bored i was like okay this is kind of cringe a little bit but then i started going into the episode and i was like this has heart and then they started making me laugh a little bit and i was like this is dope this is dope i like this to the point as I'm watching it, I'm forgetting I'm watching a Wonder Years reboot. I was generally interested in all these new characters that they brought to the table, which is interesting. This is a Wonder Years reboot, but none of the names are the same. None of the characters are like... I mean, the guy that's kind of the Arnold character is kind of similar to Arnold, but other than that, everybody has different personalities. They're in different areas in their life. Um, everybody has different names, and it's just... It's, it's, I wouldn't have, th- this is my problem with the show. It's a very good show, and I, I want to repeat watching it. I think it's my son and me can grow up watching this. I think my son can grow up thinking this is a cult classic. The problem is, though, why is it called The Wonder Years? I don't understand. Nothing. They're not repeating the same beats of the first one. They don't even have the same names. The characters are different. I, it's, it takes place in the same year, I guess. Other than that, though, like my argument with my prediction video... Anybody could do a show like this. Everybody Hates Chris was basically the same thing. It was a narrator by Chris Rock telling the stories of his childhood. So, yes, if you would have introduced this show and named it something else, I can understand people like, oh, this is kind of like The Wonder Years, but it's different. But to call it The Wonder Years is just, that's what throws people off. And I, I, and, but as a critic, as somebody that's analyzing this show, I do think it's good. I do recommend it. The only thing that's going to throw people off is obviously the name of the classic show from Fred Savage back in the early 90s. So yeah, that's my thoughts about this. I do recommend it. Give it a chance. Don't just, you know, shit on it just because of the name and not give it a chance. If you want to go into this blind and, you know, ignore the fact that I just said that the show's name is kind of pointless, if you... If you take that away, it's actually a well-hearted show, r- well-written show, and well-directed show, honestly. And these characters, the, 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 the actor, I feel like this is his first movie or first show, uh, first acting gig that I've read. He did a great job. And uh, the, the characters, I, I like how they mesh. I like the father and the mothers. <laughs> they have this thing that kind of reminded me of Everybody Hates Chris. Um, but other than that, though, I, I, I do think it's great. For a, for a first episode, it's actually really good. So if you can look past the unnecessary name, it's a good show. So, yes, please just, you know, don't, don't have your mind made up before you try something. And that's what I said, you know, when I had my predictions. I was like, look, I hope it's a good show. Why would I waste my time watching something that I want to hate? I wanted this to be good. And I feel like it is. It has a lot of potential. So in my headcanon... We're just going to be calling this something else. What should we call this? Let me know in the comments. Let's rename this dope show. Let's not call it Wonder Years. Let's, in our mind, rename it. Let me know in the comments what do you think a good name for this. All right, much love, peace, and chicken grease. And if you've also seen this show, please let me know in your comments what your thoughts of it was.